Okay, so this is equality of two complex numbers. So let us proceed to the example straight away. So example 1, find the value of A and B if A plus B I is actually equal to 3 plus 4 I. Okay, so what do we mean by equality of two complex numbers? So we're going to refer to the equal sign over here. And then we are going to compare the real part on the left hand side and the real part on the right hand side of this equal sign. Okay, so this is left hand side and this is right hand side. Okay, so we're going to compare the real part. So if we compare on the left hand side, the real part is A. On the right hand side, the real part is 3. Therefore, we're going to see that A is actually equal to 3. And then we are going to compare the imaginary part on the left hand side and right hand side. Okay, so compare the imaginary part. We have B I over here for I over here. So if we compare them, simply ignore the I because we are comparing the imaginary part. So let us compare the number in front of the I. So on the left hand side, we have B. On the right hand side, so this one is 4. So that means we will find out what is the unknown when we compare the real part and imaginary part on the left hand side and right hand side. Okay, so now let us proceed to the second example. Find the value of A and B if A plus B I multiply with 3 plus 2 I is actually equal to 7 minus 4 I. Okay, so let us expand the left hand side first. So A times with 3, so that is equal to 3 A. A times with 2 I, so plus 2 A I. B I times with 3, so this is 3 B I. B I times with 2 I, be very careful, B times 2 first, so this is 2 B, I times I, so this is I square, and this is equal to 7 minus 4 I. So we do have I square, so that means we need to simplify this, so I square is actually equal to negative 1, so what do we have is 3 A, and then 2 B times with negative 1, so this is negative 2 B, plus with 2 a i plus with 3 b i equal to 7 minus 4 i okay so now let us compare the real part on the left hand side and the real part on the right hand side so left hand side the real part is this one on the right hand side the real part is this one okay so when we compare so compare the real part so what do we have is 3a minus 2b is equal to 7. So that is the first equation. And then let us compare the imaginary part. Okay, so compare the imaginary part. So we have 2a plus with 3b. So 2a plus with 3b. And this is actually equal to, so do make sure you take the sign as well. So negative 4. So that is the second equation. Okay, so now we are going to solve them simultaneously. So up to you. You can either use elimination or you can use substitution, either one. So for me, let us try to use elimination for this one. So for the first equation, I'm going to times them with 2. For the second equation, I'm going to times them with 3. So the first equation, I'm going to times them with 2. So what do I have is 6a minus 4b equal to 14. So this is the third equation, a new equation. And then for the second equation, I'm going to times them with 3. So we have 6a, 3 times 3, so this is positive 9b equal to negative 4 times with 3, so negative 12. And that one will be our new equation, the fourth equation. Okay, so the reason why I times them with 2 or 3 is because I want to make sure I get rid of one of the unknown. So now I have 6a and 6a, so I can simply deduct them. Oops. Okay, 
So what I will do is that I'm going to take the third equation. I'm going to minus with the fourth equation. So 6a minus 6a cancel out. Negative 4b, negative 9b. So that is actually negative 13b equal to 14 minus minus 12. So that is actually 26. Which means that b is actually equal to negative 2. Okay, so once you know that B is equal to negative 2, we're going to substitute into either 1 or 2. So, choose either 1. Normally, I choose the first one. So, substitute into 1. So, what do we have is 3A minus 2 times with negative 2 equal to 7. So, 3A is equal to 7. And then this is positive 4, bring it to the left hand side, we're going to get negative 4, so 7 minus 4. So 3a is equal to 3, which means a is simply equal to 1. So now we know the value for a and b. Okay, so now let us proceed to the third example. Okay, so given the complex number z and its conjugate z bar, satisfy the equation z z bar plus 2 z i equal to 12 plus 6 i. And now we want to find what is the value of z. So since we know that z is actually a complex number, I can actually let the z. So you can use a plus b i or since I already used a plus b i before this, let me use x plus y i for this one. And then that means my z bar is simply x minus y i. Okay, so now I have my z, I have my z bar, so let us substitute into the equation. So we have x plus y i multiply with x minus y i plus 2 z, so 2 i times with x plus y i and this is actually equal to 12 plus 6 i. Okay, so let us expand this one first, so x times x, x square. And then minus x y i plus x y i positive negative so it will be negative y square i square two i times x so positive two x i two i y i so plus two y i square equal to twelve plus with six i so we do have something with i square and i square so that means we're going to change the i square to become negative 1 and let us simplify them and by the way this is negative x y i this is positive x y i so those two can be cancelled out so let us simplify them a little bit so this is x square and then negative y square times with negative 1 so it should become plus y square plus with 2 x i and then this one times with negative 1, so minus 2y. And this is equal to 12 plus with 6i. Okay, so now we are going to use the equality of two complex numbers. We are going to compare the left hand side as well as the right hand side. So for the left hand side, this one is real number. Real number because we don't have anything with i. This is an imaginary number. This is also a real number. So I will have when we compare the real number or when we compare the real part. What do we have is x square plus y square minus 2y and this is equal to 12. So that is what happened when we compare the real part. So let me let them as the first equation. So now let us compare the imaginary part. So compare the imaginary part. So this is the only imaginary part that I have. So 2x is equal to. So imaginary part on the right hand side is 6. So 2x is equal to 6. x is actually equal to 3. Okay, so now we know that x is equal to 3. So let us substitute into the first equation. Okay, so substitute. 2 into 1 ok so what do we have is x square so 3 square plus with y square minus 2y and this is equal to 12 so we're gonna have something with a quadratic function so do make sure to bring everything to the left hand side so y square minus 2y minus 3 equal to 0 
So factorize this completely, it will give you y minus 3, y plus 1 equal to 0, which means either y equal to 3 or y equal to negative 1. And of course, you shouldn't leave your answer like this because the question asks for the z. Therefore, since we already see that z is equal to x plus yi, we should substitute the value for x and the value of y. Therefore, z is equal to, so x is 3, so either 3 plus 3i, so take the first y, or you can have z equal to 3 minus i. Okay, so that's it on how to use the equality of two complex number. So I'll see you guys in the last part of complex number. Okay, bye-bye.